All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over a bunch of free keyword research tools that you can use. Some of them are considered freemium research tools, which means they have premium options, but they also give you a lot of keywords for free as well. So I'm going to start with my number one keyword tool, which is the Google Keyword Planner. So in order to use the Google Keyword Planner and to get access to all the information, you're going to need to create a Google Ads account first. You can just come right here into the Keyword Planner. I'll put links for every single one of these keywords I go over in the video description so you can find them. We also have a page on our website, so 14 free keyword research tools. So if you want to find more of these as well. And I'll also put this link in the video description. So the first thing you need to do is create a Google Ads account. So I have my Surfside PPC Google Ads account here. I have two campaigns running. They haven't even gotten an impression this month and I still have access to all the data. So when you do set up your account, you might need to set up a campaign. And even if you just have it running where it's not getting any clicks, it's not costing you anything, then you can use the Google Keyword Planner. So we're gonna come over here to the Keyword Planner and how you can find it in your Google Ads account is you click on Tools and then under Planning, you can click on Keyword Planner here. So what we're gonna do is click on Discover New Keywords and you can either start with keywords or start with a website. Now the other thing that you can do is get search volume and forecasts. So both of those things are great ways to figure out a little bit more about the keywords that you're gonna be targeting in Google Ads and find the search volume of all the keywords you wanna target. So for this video, I'm just going to be pretending that I'm looking up keywords related to back pain. So we're going to start with keywords here. And what I'm going to do is just search right here and just search back pain. Now you can enter up to 10 keywords here. So if you want to do something like lower back pain, you can enter that as well. You can enter more keywords here. So up to 10 right now, you can choose to include brand names in results and you can enter a domain to use as a filter. So we're going to click on get results now. And you can see first it has broadened your search. So some similar keywords here, chiropractor, sciatica, lower back. And then if we scroll down, you can see they have the top keywords by relevance, average monthly searches, competition, top of page bid, low range, and high range. So there's a lot of different things you can do with the keyword planner. I'm gonna be coming out with a new keyword planner tutorial because they've added some new features. So it's one of my favorite keyword research tools because you can find all these different keywords that are gonna be related to the keyword that you enter. And you can also add filters here so I can say keyword text must contain back pain. So then I'm finding the closest keywords related to back pain and it's going to have upper back pain, lower left back pain. So all these different areas where you might experience it and pretty much every type of keyword that you can imagine that people are going to type in. So my number one free keyword research tool is the Google Keyword Planner. So next, my number two free keyword research tool is Uber Suggest. So I'm going to spend the most time on the Keyword Planner and Uber Suggest. They're the keyword tools that I use the most. So all you need to do is go to Neil Patel's website. He has tools here and Uber Suggest is one of his tools. And what you can do is enter a domain or a keyword here and just click on search. And it's going to give you a lot of information about the keyword and it will give you a ton of new keyword ideas. So to continue with this example, I entered back pain. We're going to click on search. And you can see with Uber Suggest, it's going to give you search volume, SEO difficulty, paid difficulty, and average cost per click for that keyword. It'll also show you the average web page that ranks in the top 10 has 244 backlinks and a domain score of 89. So you can get a little bit more information about the websites that are already ranking for this keyword. If we click on keyword ideas here, it's going to pull up the top keyword ideas related to back pain. So you can see all of these different keywords. It's a great way to find long tail keywords as well. You can see the websites that are ranking in the top 10 of search results. So you can kind of see what type of content you're going to need to create in order to rank high for this keyword. Now, the other thing you can do is click on content ideas, and it's also going to show you some of the top content for the keywords that you enter. So it'll rank it by the average number of social shares here. You can see estimated visits for these different types of content related to back pain. So it's a great way to understand the types of content that you need to create. So right here, nine easy stretches to release lower back and hip pain. So, and then coming down here, this one gets a lot as well. Exercises for sciatica and lower back pain. So you can see people are looking for stretches and exercises that will relieve their back pain and lower back pain. And you can see what type of content is getting a lot of shares on social media. So Uber suggests is my number two keyword tool. I'm going to do a tutorial about this tool as well, because there's a lot that you can do with Uber suggest, and it's a really great tool for people to use. So next is going to be a combination of using two tools together, and it's going to be using infinite suggest and using search volume.io. So infinite suggest will give you a great list of keywords when you enter a keyword here. So I'm going to enter back pain again, and then we'll click on get this party started over here. 
So now you can see it found 350 keywords related to back pain. So you can see back pain left side, medication on right side after eating. So all of these different options here for keywords. So what you can do easily here is just click on export, export all keywords, and it's going to save everything to a CSV file. If we open that file, so now we can see all these different keywords. So all we need to do is take all these keywords. We'll scroll to the bottom. So copy all of these keywords here, and then we'll just come over to searchvolume.io, copy and paste those keywords right here. You can enter up to 800 keywords here. And with this tool, it's gonna find keyword search volume. So it's gonna give you an estimate of how many searches these different keywords are getting. So you can see it's ranked by keyword right now. If we just do average monthly searches, you can see back pain relief, back pain during pregnancy. You can find the average monthly searches for all the keywords that you can find in Infinite Suggest completely free. So just using two tools together, it's a great way to find a huge list of keywords and also find the search volume for those keywords. So as you're targeting different keywords with your website, you can come up with a ton of different options. You can keep entering keywords in here in infinite suggest, and there's really no limit to what you can enter. So that's gonna be number three. Now number four is gonna be the Google Search Console. So with the Google Search Console, you can see the performance for your website. So you can see how many total web search clicks you've had. So this is over the last three months. If we click on open report here, we can come into performance. And you can find total clicks, total impressions, average click-through rate, and average position in Google. You can see the search queries that are actually driving clicks and impressions to your website. And it will give you a lot of different ideas for some of the keywords that you can optimize for that you're already ranking for. The other thing that you can do is if we click on pages here, you can see some of your top pages in search results. So let's just say we find something with a lot of impressions that might not have a lot of clicks here. So we have product category bedding and comforter sets, maybe something like wooden beach signs here. If we click on this individual page, we come down, we click on search queries for this individual page. So you could always just enter new here, enter page and find all the different search terms that are actually driving traffic to that page and find some areas where you might be able to improve. So beach signs, beach signs decor. So different ways that you can improve your website. And it's really one of the best ways to continuously drive more traffic to your website. You can also look up some of these different search terms by using the Keyword Planner, using Ubersuggest, or even using searchvolume.io. So you export this list of keywords and you can look up search volume pretty easily, especially if you're looking at it for your entire website. So if you're looking at which search terms are driving the most impressions or clicks for your website and search terms that are getting a ton of search volume so you can really understand where you can optimize your website to continuously improve the traffic that you're driving to your website. And ultimately what you wanna do is find some of these keywords and some of these search terms that have a lot of impressions and not a lot of clicks. So you can find areas where you can improve your website and improve your content. So number four is gonna be the Google Search Console. Okay, so the next four keyword research tools are gonna to be using autocomplete for some of the top search engines. So some of the top search engines are Google, YouTube, Amazon, and Bing. So what you wanna do is use autocomplete to see what people are actually typing in as you start to enter any type of search term. So for example, if you're looking up different keywords related to back pain, you can come over here to Google. You just enter the keyword and it's gonna come up with some of the top suggestions and it's based on the overall popularity and similarity of these different keywords here. So using Google, you can come into Amazon here. You can see if we come just over here to back pain, we click on space, you can see some of the top things that people are looking for when it comes to back pain. If we come over to Bing, same exact thing. So back pain, back pain relief. You can find all these different keywords by using autocomplete. This is great when you're creating content. So for example, if I'm creating content for YouTube and I wanna create content related to back pain, I can see exactly what people are looking for. So how to, here's 10 back pain relief exercises best back pain sleeping position. So all these different things can be very helpful for figuring out the types of content that people are looking for. And I can tell you with Surfside PPC, I use this very often if I'm looking for new keywords. So for example, if I'm looking up Facebook ads, I can just enter that keyword here. It's gonna come up with the top things that people are actually typing in into YouTube. And you can do the same thing with Google. Amazon is great for products. So to see the types of products that people are looking for, you just enter it into Amazon. And then Google and Bing are just such big search engines that you can see what people are actually typing in when they're searching in these different search engines. So using autocomplete, it's one of my favorite things to do, especially as I'm creating content or coming up with some new content ideas related around an individual keyword. Okay, so some of the next tools are gonna be some freemium tools that you can use. They're gonna give you some keywords, but they either have a limit to how many searches they give you. Some of them won't give you all the information such as search volume and max calls per click bids and different things like that. 
So I'm going to go through some of these different tools here. The first one is KeywordTool.io. You can use Google Autocomplete. So this is going to use Google Autocomplete, just like what I showed you previously. Google, YouTube, Bing, Amazon, eBay, Play Store, Instagram, and Twitter. So you can search a variety of sources here. The next one is KParser. So this is a keyword suggestion tool for SEO and PPC. Again, it has a free and paid option. So if you click here, you can see there's a variety of sources that you can actually choose to search from. It can be useful if you're looking for keywords from a variety of sources. The next one is gonna be HyperSuggest. So this one, same thing, you can search some different sources here. You can enter your keyword, you can choose country, language, and just click search. So I'm gonna do that in a minute. And then last two is Word Tracker. So find new keywords for your market. And then there's also Word Tracker Scout. So Word Tracker Scout is a browser extension. You just click on free download here and it's available for Chrome. So I have it up here at the top and I'll go through that in a minute. So we're gonna come back over here to keywordtool.io and we're gonna enter back pain and just click on search. Okay, so you can see search for back pain found 648 unique keywords. They don't show you search volume, trend, CPC or competition, but you can get a lot of different ideas here. And what it does is it does a lot of these keywords in alphabetical order. So you can see some of the ones at the top are some of the ones that are probably the most popular keywords. And then as you scroll down, you can see back pain and fever, after sleeping, after running. So you can see there's some different things here that you can actually find. It's all in alphabetical order. So as we go down, back pain burning, keep going down, back pain chart. So there's a lot of different options that you can find here as you're searching all these different keywords here. So KeywordTool.io is a really good keyword tool. Sometimes I use it for YouTube. I've never done the full access where you get to use their pro keyword tool, but it's an option that you can use if you want to. I generally just stick to free keyword tools myself. So the next one is gonna be KParser, so I'm gonna do the same thing here. So it says enter one or more seed keywords. I'm just gonna enter back pane here. We're gonna search Google and click on start. Okay, so you can see here they've queued all these different keywords. They've discovered over 250 keywords. It's still going. As we scroll down, you can see on the left-hand side, they kind of have different categories. So back, pain, lower, of, for. So you can kind of see all these different things here. You can click on letters for alphabetized information. And then you can see they have a bunch of different keywords here. Back, pain, lower, remedies, lower, left, ICD-10, relief. So a lot of different options here, again, with KParser. So their free keyword research tool will give you plenty of keywords if you just enter one keyword here. And you can also search from different sources. So this is another good YouTube keyword research tool and it'll work for Amazon and different things like that. Now, the next one I wanna go through is HyperSuggest. So with HyperSuggest, they really don't give you much with the free plan. So if we come in here and we enter our keyword, we'll enter back pain. You can search different countries. So if we do United Kingdom, United States, so I'll just scroll down since I'm located in the United States, I'll just do that one and we'll click on search here. So you can see they found 438 results for back pain. And if we just see here, they only give us 10 results because we have no active subscription. So obviously you need to upgrade to a pro plan to see all the different keywords here. So HyperSuggest doesn't give you a ton, but you can search from different sources. So if you're searching on eBay or if you're searching on YouTube or Amazon or something like that, it might be another useful keyword research tool for you to use. I really don't use it that often, but it's another one with a little bit of a free option that gives you some information. Now the next one is gonna be Word Tracker. So Word Tracker, we can enter back pane again. We'll click on search. So Word Tracker only gives you so many free searches. You can see if you click on unlock now, that's how you would start to unlock it. You can use a free trial, but they have some good information here. So if you're searching for back pain, you can look at PPC, SEO. It'll have search volume, overall competition. They also have their own column here for in anchor and title account of the web pages on which the keyword appears in both the title tag and the text of a backlink so you can find a lot of different keywords using this one as well so word tracker is another good one that you can try to use so these are all freemium tools now the other thing you can use is the word tracker scout so the scout you just download and install on chrome and let's just say for example i come over here to beachfronttocore.com and we click on the word tracker scout chrome plugin right here so you can see when you click on it, it's gonna have page summary, insights, keywords, and it'll show some of the most relevant. So you can see how relevant the keywords you wanna find are, but it's gonna find the keywords that are gonna be the most closely related to the web page that you're on. If you go to insights, it'll show you the page title, the page description. It'll show you a variety of keywords here, how relevant each of those keywords are to this actual page. 
And if you click on keywords here, it'll show you some more keywords as well. So another great tool here is Word Tracker Scout. You might as well install it on your pages. It's very useful if you're trying to look up some of your competitors' content and looking at their page summary, seeing some of the keywords that are related to their pages. And you can also just look at insights as well to get a little bit more information about their page and what they're doing to rank so high in Google. So these are five different tools, keywordtool.io, kparser, hypersuggest, word tracker, and then part of word tracker is the word tracker scout. So just another plugin that you can install on Chrome. And it's one that you might as well try to use. So the next free keyword research tool I want to go over is Google Trends. So Google Trends will not only give you trending information, but you can also compare different topics. There's a lot of things you can do with Google Trends, but what I like to do is come in here to recently trending. And what you can do is more trending searches here. And it'll show you some of the top daily search trends, why they're trending, and it'll show you all this different information here that you can either cover on your own website, or if you're just looking for some news, you can do that as well. So this is just daily search trends. There's also real-time search trends to show some of the top things that people are searching. You can look at all categories here as well. So you can look for specific categories that you would be interested in. So now if we come over here and you do explore topics, what I like to do actually is just come back over here to Google Trends and you can enter a search term or topic here. So let's just say, for example, I want to do online advertising. So you'll see it's a topic online advertising. So it's going to show the search trend for online advertising over the course of time. So you can see the interest over time, interest by subregion. You can see some related topics here. And then you can also see some related search queries. So these are some rising search terms. Otherwise, what you can do is just some of the top search terms related to online advertising. So marketing, online marketing, digital advertising, and it'll show you up to 25 different search terms. So you can get some different ideas if you're looking for some different keywords. You might as well just come in here, enter whatever it is that you're targeting, and you can compare it with other search results as well. So Google Trends is another great way to find keywords, find trending topics, find things that people are actively typing in. Now, last but not least, another good free keyword research tool here is answerthepublic.com. So when you come here, you're gonna see a page that looks just like this. So all you need to do is come in here, just enter a term. So I entered PPC advertising already, click on get questions. And you can come over here, it's gonna show you questions, prepositions, comparisons, alphabeticals, and related. So you can look here, so they have a visual graph here, or you can just look at the data. So what it will say here is PPC advertising, why? So why PPC advertising, why use PPC advertising, how, how to set up PPC advertising, how to start, how much does it cost? You can also just look at the data, it'll give you the same information in more of a table form. So as we scroll down, you can click on all these things. So they have prepositions, is it worth it? PPC advertising on Amazon, on Facebook, you can come to comparisons here. So it'll show you different things people might compare. So PPC versus SEO or something like that. If we keep scrolling down, it has all these different keywords. So alphabetized keywords. And then you can come over here to relate it as well. And it'll show you some different keywords as well. So answer the public is another good free keyword research tool. They give you a lot of information. And a lot of it is just based on the questions that people are typing in and some of the keywords that people are using along with the seed keyword that you enter. So these are a bunch of free keyword research tools. Hopefully you can find the ones that work the best for you. Truthfully, I use the Google Keyword Planner and Uber suggests the most, but there are other reasons to use some of the other keyword research tools. For example, if you have a list of keywords, you wanna find the search volume pretty quickly, you might just wanna use searchvolume.io. If you're just looking for a list of keywords, you might wanna use something like Infinite Suggest or keywordtool.io. All of them will give you a ton of different keywords for free. So these are a lot of different keyword research tools. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my videos today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.